Hello, and welcome to the Midmark IQ ECG training video. This tutorial is intended to demonstrate how to review an ECG test using Midmark IQ ECG software. Please refer to the IQ ECG operation manual for an in-depth explanation of all device and software features, as well as computer requirements and safety information to retrieve an ECG report for review. Enter and search by the patient's name or ID on the Midmark IQ Manager opening screen. Click View next to the patient to review the patient data and a list of tests for the patient. Then, select the resting ECG report you want to review and click the View button. If you are using an EMR, refer to your operation instructions for opening a Midmark ECG report for review. The remainder of this section is the same whether you are using an EMR or Midmark IQ Manager software. The date and time of the selected report, name of the technician conducting the test, and the patient's blood pressure, if entered, will appear on the top left side of the screen. The general measurements are displayed on the upper right portion of the report review screen. Measurements can be manually overridden by clicking in each field except for the QTC values. Click the calipers button to measure the amplitude and duration of any part of the ECG waveform. This makes it easy to review ECG tests online without printing the report. Clicking and dragging on a specific caliper will move only that one caliper. Clicking and dragging in the middle of the calipers will move both calipers together. Calipers can be adjusted for a different duration of time by clicking and moving the right or left caliper. The 10-second tab will display all 10 seconds from each of the 12 leads on one screen. The full disclosure of a 12-lead resting ECG test. The menu bar displays the date and time of the selected report with a drop-down to select a different report and a drop-down for gain. The calipers work the same as in the ECG report review screen. You may click the Compare tab to compare two ECGs from the same patient side by side. The current test report will be displayed in the top window. The previous test report, by default, will be displayed in the bottom window. Other tests can be selected by using the drop-down menu or by using the right or left arrows in the bottom window of the ECG report. The ECG tracings for each report will be displayed on the left. The date and time of the report, the gain dropdown, the ECG data fields, and the interpretation field will be displayed on the right. The printer button will print the report displayed on the screen. If you'd like to make changes to the interpretation, you may edit or enter an interpretation in the interpretation field by using the free text typing capability. Please note that all diagnostic statements must be reviewed by a qualified physician. You may also make changes to the interpretation using customized statements by selecting the pencil icon. Once in the interpretation edit screen, you may click on the top left drop down arrow for the appropriate category and then click the add button to add the desired location. The selected interpretation will be displayed in the right window. Click the favorite button to add frequently used interpretations to the favorites list. You can also use the search field to search through all of the preset interpretations configured from list management. To free type an interpretation, use the top right text field. To reorganize the statements in the interpretation field, select the statement and use the up and down arrows to move them to the desired place. Select the X button next to the statement and delete that statement. Selecting clear all will remove all interpretations on the report. To save the changes made to the review report screen, select OK. To discard any changes and return to the review report screen, click Cancel. All ECG tests must be examined with respect to the patient's overall clinical condition. When you are ready to sign off on the report, enter your name and click the Sign Off button. The date the report is signed, the name of the reviewing physician, and the username are recorded, and the report is now read only. To edit a signed report, retrieve the report and click the Unlock button. This concludes this portion of the IQ ECG training video. For more information about the Midmark IQ ECG, contact Midmark Technical Service at 1-844-856-1230, option 2.